Hey guys, so this is gonna be something a little bit different. I'm normally a service technician. Today I'm gonna to be an installer. You're gonna enjoy this. We are doing a side job here today. We're putting in a heat pump. Yes, a heat pump, oh my gosh, in Ohio. I wanted to go with a mini split zone, multiple heads, but man, that gets really, really stupid expensive after a while. So we ended up going with a Weather King. Uh, we went with, you know, best value for the money, uh, the efficiencies there. So that's what we're gonna do. So this has no duct work, no electrical ran, none of that crap. And so we gotta do pretty much everything. I hate install. So the first thing we're doing, we're gonna get some lights ran. So I bought some of these little uh, lights on Amazon. They're little pucks, the 50 foot cord. So that's gonna make it a lot easier. I just got a dehumidifier. The crawl space was super, super, super wet. We've got insulation that's falling down. This is going to be a treat. Let's get started. This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. Okay guys, so this video here, I want you guys to know up front, this is my son. I do love him. I know it's gonna sound like I don't like him, that I hate him, that I beat him as a child. Did I ever beat you as a child that much? <laughs> that much? <laughs> no. Anyhow, I give him a lot of hell in this video. I just wanna make sure you guys know it. I also dig at installers nonstop in this. The installers at my company are awesome. The ones in my previous ones, not so much. I am just kidding around, so you guys know that up front. Gotta remember, I don't do this all the time. Uh, there's always something you can nitpick. There's always things you can uh, choose and do and what differently. And you know, there's nothing's gonna be perfect, especially when you don't do it every day. So anyhow, let's get started with the video. Yeah, I should have like unstrung them before I dropped them down here. So we got it all the way down here to the end. I think it goes all the way back, so we'd probably be all right. I'm gonna probably put it at the bottom of this joist, that way it kind of gets both edges. I do something like that. It's got a little little hanger deal there, hang that on a on a screw. Here's the reason why we're doing it, ain't we? We're gonna get you nice and warm in the winter time. Yep, 15 kW heat and two and a half tons of cooling and heating, huh? Huh? Sound good? All right, so what we did, we took an actual clothes hanger, straight one, went right down through. So it basically doesn't leave no marks or anything. So he's gonna go down there. He's gonna measure off that to the floor joist and we're gonna figure out where we're at so whether or not we can put this 14 inch register. We oversized this because the house is very poorly insulated. The walls, the insulation has came down as far as blowing it in or not blowing it in. I'm not into that. I don't want to drill a million and 10 holes in it and they have aluminum siding on the outside. So for right now we're oversizing it. I can deal with the extra half ton that I went over by. So that's what we're doing here. All right, so he doesn't know how to use a tape measure. Check out what happened because of that. <sighs> now you see why I adopted Clayton as my second son. So. What ended up happening was we went too far this way because for whatever reason, he told me six inches that direction. Otherwise everything fits tight. Got one screw in there, one screw in there. Good enough until we get the uh, flex duct hooked on it. Yes, we're using flex duct. We're gonna pull it tight, won't matter. And we're gonna go round duct for our main trunk line, all of it. Round duct with some round takeoffs with dampers in it. It's gonna be supreme. Uh, round does better transfer than square duct. That's an old time thing. So anyhow, went ahead and took some of the leftover carpet Put it there, padding with both of them. We'll staple that down here on the next go around when I bring my stapler, you run a little thingy majiggy behind it. You can put some two-sided tape on that. And then when that gets down to there, you barely can see it. So it'll be all right. He can pay somebody to fix that. See, look at that. it starts disappearing. So yeah, there. First one's done, time to call it a day. On to the next day. I want to try to get this done through the week because I'm going on call uh, Monday and uh, that's going to screw things up. Ain't going to have no time to do it when I'm on call. It never fails. Probably about the time I get over here, something will go to shit and then I'll have to go back. All right, Sleeping Beauty gets up earlier in the morning for his job. He drives a truck and usually drives a semi, but it looks to me like he might have been doing a small truck today. I don't know. It's got a tiny thing. Anyhow, uh, let's get our stuff unloaded. Got the uh, saws and things like that there. Uh, we're just gonna do some cutting. That's my main primary objective today. Must have electricity to burn. I think he'd have his door open for his poor dad, but no, he don't. What are you doing in my bag? Wanna play with a circular saw? Here, you want a circular saw? Might as well learn, daddy didn't want to. Here you go, you wanna drill? Take the drill, you know you want the drill, take the drill. So here's one of them we need to do. So we're gonna mount this somewhere about right in there. That way, when the curtain gets pulled that it don't block the register all up. There you go. 
Some people pay a lot of money for a fancy drill bit, but say that don't work, worst case scenario, you have that little hole right there. So you do that on your siding, they'll go right through two double floor joists, they'll go through walls, you name it. I don't know what everybody else uses, but that's all I was showed long ago. I had to bring, bring these, because you know he ain't gonna have them. See, these are my, these are my beater, beater pads, because I don't wanna get my fancy ones out. He's being my spotter. What are you guys doing wasting your time? Don't watch his videos. They're this awesome. video is gonna be stupid awesome. as all get out. There's so many, what's that one guy? There's Chris, people. there's a guy named Chris on YouTube. Watch his shit, don't watch this. I'm a service guy doing install. I mean, give me a break. What could I possibly know? Except for, I know what not to do to create a service call. Did I tell you I wasn't coming tomorrow so you can work a little faster right now? Hey, now tell me this. When you see it, you're gonna measure to the left, all right? And you're gonna tell me to the left how far away that floor joist is, right? My left? When you're staring out the window. <laughs> when you're staring out the window, you're gonna look out to the left. Yeah, give me a tape measure. Come on, Goldilocks, let's go. I gotta go around all this piping. Make some noise so I can see where, oh, never mind, there you are. Is it going to give us a way for the duct to go straight over to it from the middle of the house? Yeah, it's just this pipe in the way sucks. It's like right there. So he's making this way too difficult. So let's go look. See all that nice stuff. We got cotton candy down here. Lots of cotton candy. Well, you got piping across all of that, so there's no like a lot of choices. There's a lot of light. So you can see what the hell you're doing. So all this crap's falling down because he didn't have way too much moisture down here. So the dehumidifier now is making it freaking hot down here. We gotta get that plastic pulled over to that edge there. That's gonna let a lot of moisture in. Right there's our, our, our uh, piece. We are four inches, four inches away from that. So I can cut four inches over. So today's Thursday, so I've already done my 10 hours, eight hours, whatever I did today. They did me no favors. Here, give me that. Oh my goodnesses, look at that. Would you look at that? So yeah, so all we gotta do is cut it and then we'll put the flex onto it. Probably ahead of time, which will make it a lot easier. Okay, these were my cutout pieces. So we just made it off the wall. Put it right at two inches there. Put it right at about two inches there. Which... The rest of them are all smaller. This is a big one. This is 14 inches. All the rest are 10 or literally 112. So don't look too bad. Um, like I said, when you put just a little bit over there on the side. But if everything lines up, it'll be perfectly fine. No matter no matter how I move it. Oh, that's awesome. It's fine. So we're gonna convert this to a downflow. Now this is that electronic control module for the uh, for the flammable gas, so you don't die in a ball of flames. Even though this crap isn't that flammable, but hey, we'll put one more thing in there that it's going to cause you no heat situation. So yippee for them. That's guaranteed for ten years, and that if it picks up a leak, it turns all your heating and cooling off, and then just runs the blower. I bet I'm going to have to look at the instructions. I bet you don't even have my face in the picture. I do. Do you now? Yeah, I do. So it's probably Daddy doesn't trust me to record anything. Yeah. It's not hard. You point and shoot. And I did YouTube longer than you at this point. You're yeah. catching up though. Oh. How many subscribers did you have? What was it? 2.7 thousand. Well, that ain't bad. Yeah, I had 2.7 thousand. And what kind of things did you record? Everything. I did DJ gig logs. I did gaming videos. I did moto vlogs. You can't see none of it because he got hacked because he had a bad password. That is not what happened. It probably goes like that right there. Right there. Something like that. That's what I'm figuring. There's dimples here, they said. You got dimples. Yes, sir. Right there. Let's see if this fits. Basically, this is a ream or a rude. Uh, it says uh, leather king, but I don't think when it comes to their hand, air handlers that there's any difference in the quality because I think it's all the same. Ream's always been pretty solid for the most part. 
So you got the TXV, it gets mounted external of it, which is nice. They actually got, uh, I just, like I said, started one of these not too long ago. So uh, I didn't have any problems and it was all great. Are you having fun editing? Is this fun? Are you enjoying this? What time is it, Dad? What time are you editing this? Right about two in the morning. Two in the morning? It's supposed to be plug and play. So easy an installer could do it. So yeah. Everywhere I've worked at, it's always been install versus service department. That uh, looks like they're still making a halfway decent product. So we'll see. It might be a total piece of crap. But hey, whatever. I got heat at my house. So, yep. <laughs> I look forward to the comments. Is this how you treat your son? Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> If he didn't gain so much weight, he'd look just like me. So. There you go. Fat shaming. Add that on there. <laughs> <laughs> Got some real sensitive people on them. <laughs> everybody, everybody that complains about my personality any other time, now they get to see this side of it. They're like, oh, well, I don't know which one I don't like worse. I don't like worse. <laughs> He's just an asshole. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Finally got a spot for that screw to fit. All right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, shit. Wasn't recording any of that. You got none of it? <laughs> no. None of it. The, for the one I grabbed the camera and brought it over? No. Everything <laughs> missed. I've done that multiple we, times. We recorded some stuff and uh, I didn't click record. You know, and so far, yeah, we got the uh, got the breakers mounted there. there they just kind of go there. You got a little hooky job there. You can pull them, unhook them. It's th uh, 15 kW. I think we only need about 10. Um, no, I didn't do a manual J, E, F, Q, and a D. I had our previous uh, sales guy calculate all the crap out. He sold them the house because he's a realtor and he's still one of my friends. He likes laying it out, so we laid out the uh, setup and he. Uh, Another company that he worked at, they like to use round stuff, and that's why he said, well, go with the round. I'm hoping to speed it up. I wanted to I wanted to do this as fast as a mini split and without the mini split price, which we're still going to come in at least 1000 to maybe 1000 to $2,000 cheaper than a carrier. What you got there? It's an adjustable pump up, they call it, so you can get the height right, I guess. This is going to get the heat pump up in the air, so when it defrosts, the water falls down and doesn't go all over the place. Oh, yeah. That's going to go underneath the condenser here. What's your thought process right now? So this part's going to go through the floor. This is upside down right now. Our box is going to need to be 15 and 3 quarters wide. That's the inside here. We have a 12 inch tape off, so we've got to go at least 13 inches wide, which I'm almost wanting to go maybe even wider just so I have a little extra. You know, an installer would have put uh, the date it was installed, not the day that they're uh... You know. This is never going to be seen. It's going to be face down on the floor. <laughs> Nobody will ever see this ever. Once this is done, it's never going to be seen again. This is a hit. This is what we call a little uh, Easter egg. 